All right, this is a daily chart of YOD. YOD is uh, set up for higher prices, and there's been a, a major turn of events. Um, but before I go in that, I want to explain how how well uh, TA uh, can help you um, get into stocks uh, for very, and make a lot of profits. And it's a combination of um, using uh, uh, the daily charts and intraday charts. So when the, for example, back in February, uh, and I'm going to show this now, um, back in February, um, when this stock was, was trading in this area over here, um, we had a, a strong confirmation in the, um, in the 288, 270 area, um, which led to a strong move higher. Um, you know, most people would have taken profits in the 550 area here. And let me show this on the two hour chart. So, well, we, I was talking about February the 3rd here. So, you have the breakout. So, the time frames are aligned here. And you would catch a big move. Then, there really wasn't anything as the two hour charts were not aligned up until. And or in order the daily were not aligned up until back in uh, it took till March, where another breakout occurred on in March. It was a good it was a good pattern here, but the the stock failed and and I want to show. So there is the so here's a line here. Here's a good reference line here. Okay. So basically, the breakout point in this stock. This is my analysis here. Would be around the um, um, five fifteen area. Sorry, five uh, fifty area. Five fifty would have been a strong breakout point, and the stock went higher. However, if one was still holding this long, the strong a strong signal was to get out of the stock um, in the five sixty. So basically, five sixty nine area. Uh, so basically, your breakout. And the failure of the breakout would would leave you at this point uh, scratch. So, if you would have taken the signals based on the visionary lines when everything is set up in the time frames, one would have entered um, in the three seventy to three uh, two seventy to two eighty area, confirmed over here, and again over here, which would be uh, and oh, sorry this point here, which would be in a scratch out here, and then the stock led to a strong sell off. This signal would not be taken uh, because on the daily chart um, uh, it was very negative in that time zone um, based on the visionary lines. So we'll go back to the two hour. It was not an alignment. And if one was following the stock, um, you know, carefully based on this, if they were, uh, you know, looking for a really strong reentry point, we got a intraday signal. Um, in the 250 area right here. I wanted to show this right here as we have a pattern here and the visionary line is very bullish uh, and we broke through uh, a resistance properly with a strong volume but then we had a strong follow through of course that was you know um, that was to be expected uh, based on the pattern and, and it stopped based on that intraday pattern. Now what's going on is 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 the stock has changed. If we look back in the two hour we are now back above this 80 moving average and these lines are now strongly uh, below this as well so this is significantly uh, a significant change has occurred lately but that has not happened until now so if you're someone who bought over here and kept on holding you're holding all this for nothing and you could have easily sold based on the visionary lines in the 570 area and buy buy back on proof in the 250 area or in the new buy point uh, which is 325 uh, a stronger signal also would be uh, for this stock to get above um, this high here and I'm looking for this to go back to the 450 to 475 area but the good news is because of the because of this reversal and proof, by the way, not just guessing like some people do on the boards, is that this stock now has a possibility to go to uh, $10 a share. 
but also we also learned a piece of information that a strong that a uh, a big time investor came into this company and that's what led to this but the te tech here's the beauty of it the technicals the technicals told you something was up especially if you were following um, my rules and the two hour chart here there was something here um, I did not catch this move as I was not following um, the stock it came up in my um, it came up on my scan but I took a look at this deeply uh, because it came up it came up on my scan I took a look at this and realized and seen the big revert the big change happening um, and at the same time there's still it's still a great buy in this area anyhow I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people that are bought up over here they're stuck over here and wish they could have bought over here or had tried or, or were buying buying down here but they were they were they were uh, guessing because stocks sometimes they go down a lot you know I'll give you an example um, and then I'll show you how powerful the HM You see, HIMX uh, was a, a strong trending stock. Everyone was, oh, it was all bullish. However, there were strong reversal signals, uh, especially here in the 14 area. This doesn't mean that this foretold, here's my point, that this foretold that the stock was going to go down so low, but things go, go, go very, uh, can go very bearish. And still, there's nothing positive happening. As you can see, the stock had another sell-off over here. But people were guessing, oh, it's a bottom here, it's a bottom here, it's a bottom. There's no, nobody knows. You have to wait for things to set up. Let's go to YLD. And if we look at YLD, up until up until um, a few days ago, this stock was pretty much bearish. There was nothing bullish about it until we had the strong reversal signal. And you could have got in again if if you were following this carefully with the volume and the pattern and the two hour chart, right? Um, you know, one could have gotten in in the 250 area. So there you have it, uh, YOD. Thanks for listening. Like the video.